Hey, I'm Mike Jack. And I'm Jamie. And this is Hot Reviews. You guys just witnessed a world record happen. It smells like reaper. Come on! Come on, Mike. 56 peppers in. This is your new peppers. subscribe. Today on Hot Reviews, we're going to be trying some spicy products from Island Chef. They are from Victoria, British Columbia. So the first spicy product we're going to try here today from Island Chef Pepper Co. is their Bird's Eye Barbecue. It's a rub. I don't really know anything about bird's eye peppers. I don't know a whole lot about them. Okay. It's uh, they're like they're like kind of hot, but not like not like okay. crazy hot. They're not a super hot pepper. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not totally sure. I think they're maybe almost as hot as like a habanero. So it's not like super hot that like anybody would be able to enjoy the rub. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. I think if you're uh, don't use habanero hot sauce, like if you're really new, uh, it might be kind of hot for you. But I don't know. We'll we'll try it and we'll find mm -hmm. out, right? So let's see, okay, so the bird's eye rub has kosher salt, bird's eye peppers, black pepper, mustard powder, brown sugar, celery seed, cumin seeds, and mace. So don't get it in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So we got some zucchini here to just give it a little try. What do you think, is that good? Tell me when. That's probably good. It's probably good. I like the mustard powder in it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you can smell the you can smell the peppers. Oh, you can smell like like black pepper on there. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Mmm, it tastes good. Mm-hmm. It is good. Yeah. I don't, do you get any um, like spiciness from it, really? Um, no, but I can taste that there's peppers in it. Mmm. I was like, I was like, man, it tastes like cumin, but I didn't remember you saying cumin. Yeah. But there's cumin seeds in it, and I can taste it and smell it. Mmm. I like this. It's good, though. It is good. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a rub. It's a bit like, it's kind of like salty, salt and pepper mm -hmm. kind of flavor. We could totally put in our like breakfast hash brown. Oh yeah. Or like obviously it's designed for barbecue. Yeah, it's designed for, yeah, to be a rub, I guess, for barbecue. Um, we don't really use a lot of rubs and stuff like that, but it would be good for like a, like a seasoning salt, yeah, right? That's like what I think we'll use it. Yeah. In. Oh, you know what it would be good on? What's that? Popcorn. On popcorn, it actually would be good on popcorn. I know. Whoa, that's a good idea. Now yeah, try that out. Mm -hmm. So the next spicy product we have here today from Island Chef Pepperco is their habanero gold jelly. I like how people are starting to do more jelly. And for ingredients, this jelly has sugar distilled vinegar, pectin, dried apricots, sulfur dioxide, potassium sorbate, red peppers, fresh habanero peppers, and onion. That sounds pretty delicious. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting with like, the onions mixed with the sweetness, eh? Oh yeah. Oh, it smells really oniony actually. Oh yeah, it does. Hmm. I That's feel like this is gonna be like a, like, you know like that red pepper jelly? Yeah. I feel like it will be like that. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. Here, you wanna do your own there? Is that gonna be easier? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can see like chunks of the pepper in it. Just gonna like mix it up a little bit here. All right. Let's get a good jelly <laughs> chunk on there. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's like you can uh, like feel the pieces of things. Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm not sure what I'm tasting there. I'm not sure what I'm Oh, it's the apricots. End. Oh. It's apricots. That's what it is. It's giving it that sweetness. Yeah. I forgot what the, uh, I forgot what the ingredients were in there and I was like, it's kind of like an orange, but like not really. Mm. Yeah, it's really a no, apricot. Apricot was definitely a good choice. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, that's a good, a good jelly fruit. I think that this would be amazing if you had a charcuterie board and you like kind of like put it on top of a cheese. So you like you had a cracker or a piece of bread and then you had like a cheese and then the pepper on top. It would be good, yeah. Sometimes people will like melt cheese a little bit and then you could put it on. That would oh. be delicious. On like a cracker? Uh, like on the cheese. Like people will melt the cheese oh, a little bit. The They'll melt the cheese and then they'll put it on the cheese? No, then you put the jelly on the cheese. They put the jelly on the melted cheese? Yeah. What? And then what do you put the melted cheese on? Like a piece, like this or Oh, on like a cracker? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. That makes sense. I think it would just be good to, just for crackers. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Just put some jelly on a cracker. Just keep it simple, you know? It's definitely good. Yeah, it's good. And like... Island chef. He knows what he's doing. Like he's like a world renowned chef too. So the last jelly we have here today from Island Chef Pepper Co. is their Reaper Pepper Jelly. In four ingredients, this jelly has red peppers, sugar, cider vinegar, pectin, Carolina Reaper peppers, and garlic. So it's interesting. It's got pretty different ingredients mm -hmm. than the last one. This one I don't think is gonna be as sweet, right? Yeah, well, it has sugar in it, but it, yeah, it doesn't have like, it doesn't have like the, the fruit, I guess, right? Yeah. I, I guess except for the Carolina Reaper peppers, that's a, a fruit technically. I love their labels. They're so like classic. Yeah, it's pretty so, awesome. So like minimal. Whoa, this one. Oh, this one smells really good. Oh, the texture of this one's different too. Oh. It has like a slight oh. like reaper scent, but it's not as like sharp as reapers usually are. You I know, know what I mean? I know, so I like the smell of it. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. I think it's like the cider vinegar too. Oh, maybe. Like the garlic? You're just like kind of smelling everything. I mean, there's not oh, a lot maybe. of ingredients yeah. in it. No, there's not. So you're able to like smell it all just at different times. Yeah. That's cool. It is a real interesting smell. All right. Here, you want me to try to? Yeah. Do you this time? This one is not as solid as the last one. Mm -hmm. So. Nice and chunks of things. So. Oh, yeah. So it's a bit easier to, there you go. There's a lot of Reaper for you. Still nicely formed though. Oh yeah, what, there's a little chunk of uh, something there. I'll put that on there. Oh yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. This is the stuff here. I know. No, yeah, yeah. That is good. I know. It's got like, it's like a bit garlicky. Mm-hmm. You can taste the reapers. Mm-hmm. It's not like, it's not like insanely hot. Mm-mm. So, don't be too scared if you're no. not quite at the Reaper level yet. You can give this one a try. The Reapers aren't super high on the ingredients list there. It's red peppers, number one. 
This one, oh, yeah, I think, this one's like, really good. would be really good if you're having breakfast. And then you know how you sometimes have toast? Yeah. And then you put this on your toast with your breakfast. Yeah, for sure. I would put this on my toast, even if it wasn't breakfast. Mm -hmm. If you just want a snack. Again, I think it would be delicious on cheese. It would be, yeah. I really want to eat it for breakfast, though. Yeah, this one I, this to be honest, this one I could see um, using a lot more than the other one. It's just like a, yeah, it's like a totally different. It's like, they're both jellies and they're both by, you know, Island Chef, but they're just so different. That's what's good though. This is like a more like sweet fruity one. And then this is like your pepper, like yeah. kind of garlic one. I'm yeah. like how they're so different. It's more like a, yeah, like a, a red pepper jelly, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's just, it's really different. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I, Oh, it would be, I'd put that on like some, some waffles or something, some like pancakes or something maybe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is, um, this is really good. Good job, yeah. good job Island Chef, Pepper Co. I just love how like, they're kind of doing like a full lineup of things. They have their hot sauce, they have their rubs, they have their jellies. Yeah, it's cool, expanding into different products. Yeah. Not just hot sauce, the hot sauce is good, but this jelly is really good too, so. <laughs> so if you want to get yourself some hot sauce, or jellies or rub from Island Chef Pepper Co. Just check out the details in the description below. Thanks for watching our reviews and we'll see you next time.